So a lot of you are concerned about the Division 2 seeing a downgrade. And, you know, for good reason. You guys may remember this right here. All of those amazing looking presentations for the Division when it was initially revealed. It looked freaking unreal and amazing. Well, it was kind of unreal uh, because eventually the game was downgraded, of course. But, you know, it did still look really good. But it did not look nearly as good as what we saw you know, at E3, at Gamescom. So yeah, it's a good question. Will the Division 2 be downgraded? Well, we have some comments from Ubisoft Massive's uh, creative director about the issue. Uh, plus, you know, why in the world didn't Ubisoft Massive go on ahead and continue working on the Division 1 and just expanding the world, you know, with another city or something like that? Well, we have additional comments about that one as well. So let's talk about the downgrade. Because I know a lot of you are extremely curious about that one. So, uh, Billy, uh, out on Twitter, asked Julian Garrity, who, of course, is the creative director over at Ubisoft Massive, for God's sake, don't downgrade the graphics on The Division 2. We got more powerful consoles now. And Julian Garrity says, not the plan, Billy, end quote. So that is reassuring news for sure. Uh, hopefully we don't see, you know, a downgrade. You know, Ubisoft... Uh, lately has been really good about presenting their games, especially with Assassin's Creed Origins. They nailed that game. It looked uh, good during its first initial presentations, and then when you got it home and started playing it, it looked amazing. You know, I remember the first time I played it at Gamescom, like, it cannot look this good. This is absolutely insane. And it ended up looking really, really sharp all around. Uh, so that is definitely good news. You know, uh, what we're seeing here, I remember uh, when this was first revealed and then seeing the downgrade. I just lived with it, of course, like most of us did. It was super disappointing uh, for sure. So it's really good news again to know uh, that we won't be seeing a downgrade. Now, we did get additional comments about, you know, why Ubisoft Massive didn't continue with the Division 1. And here those are. Let's take a look at that. So Julian Garrity, creative director, says it wasn't an easy decision but there are so many stories and so many experiences that we want to explore within the world of The Division that we really felt a sequel was the best way to investigate these things. And Matthias Carlson, game director, says this. Also, I mean, the process of making something is such an important part of learning and improving what to do next, what to do in the future. And these are all the same people, all the same teams and studios that made the first game. It's an incredible opportunity for us to take all that learning, all that experience from what The Division is today, and put it into a new game. Also, technology advances with time. Snowdrop today is a better and more capable engine than when we released The Division. It was still fantastic, but we could do more now, so we, of course, want to take the opportunity as well which would be so much more difficult to do with the game that's live. There are many reasons, end quote. So one of the biggest reasons I see there is, of course, them learning from past mistakes and taking your feedback, the community's feedback, and really applying it uh, to the division, too. You know, one thing, if I could get the feedback right now, is I agree with a lot of the community saying that the game is too bullet spongy. I really hope uh, that they address that issue and make it more of a shooter in that regard, because that's something that I personally would really, really enjoy for sure. Uh, but, you know, uh, in this comment here, they did say that technology advances with time. Snowdrop today's better and more capable engine than we released in The Division. Uh, so it seems like uh, they are going to be definitely going after uh, an engine that is improved greatly. Remember, they are using the engine for the new avatar game so that is super exciting for sure as well and i hope that we see that as well at e3 2018 alongside the division anything something related to the uh the avatar game because we've seen you know previous demonstrations of what the snowdrop engine could be capable of in regards to uh forested scenes and stuff like that and uh we haven't really seen that potential in uh, their snowdrop engine when it comes to an open world environment. We've seen a lot of urban settings and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it seems like they're going to be pushing the engine a lot further, even with the urban stuff. And they did tow a lot of destruction earlier on. So they may really 
uh, return to adding a lot more in regards to destruction, we will see at E3 2018. So they're really investing a lot uh, in terms of that. And it sounds like they're going to be re reworking a lot of stuff uh, for sure. The biggest question is, will, will we be, excuse me, headed to a whole new city or will they just expand upon what they've already built with New York City? What would you guys like to see? Please let me know down in the comments below. But good news, it sounds like there's not going to be a downgrade given what Ubisoft has been doing lately. It seems like they are not interested in pissing everyone off. They have not been pissing everyone off lately at all. You know, Assassin's Creed Origins turned out amazing. And then they've done a, a really good job with Rainbow Six Siege for sure. And then on top of all this, Ubisoft is expanding to two brand new studios, which will be working on AAA titles of their own. So they are expanding. They're building big time. And that's very good news. And, and if you guys did not hear, if you uh, didn't know this, they won their uh, case with the Venvita, Venvita issue, I believe. They're called Venvita. Uh, but that is really good news because Venvita was really after them uh, and trying to take over the company. It was basically a hostile takeover. So good news there that uh, that did not happen. I was so paranoid and worried for Ubisoft. So looks like Ubisoft is on the up and up for sure. They're really... Uh, they really do seem to be in tune to what the community wants and what they need from their uh, games. So look forward to more news about The Division 2, guys. E3 2018 is fast approaching. So June 2018, mark that on your calendars. And we should be getting a big gameplay reveal. Man, I'm so hyped for this one. Hopefully, we don't see bullet spongy enemies anymore. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And I will see you guys next time.